Congratulations on your success in France, Lieutenant Patterson. I trust the weather was charming. Unfortunately, we have little time for small talk, as we have a rather difficult assignment for you. Battlefield and politics are two words that should never go together, but unfortunately Eisenhower, under pressure from both Washington and London, has approved Field Marshal Montgomery's Market Garden operation. It's scheduled to begin in less than a week. We are very dubious of the plan's potential for success. It's an extremely risky one, but it could end the war by Christmas if it succeeds. Time is of the essence, as we received an urgent request from one of our agents in the Dutch underground for an immediate field rendezvous. He had stolen intelligence materials detailing a new German weapons project, but got himself captured in the process. He was able to send us a message just before they nabbed him. He's being held in a Dutch manor house. This, of course, is where we turn to you. We need you to make contact with one of our field operatives in Holland, locate the prisoner, and get him out of there. We need that information, Patterson. It's critical. Only our operative knows how to get you to the manor house where our Dutch agent is being held. The rest, my friend, will be up to you. On a dual mission for both the OSS and Schaefe, you will parachute into the region and quietly meet up with a small unit led by a Corporal Barnes, who you might remember from your days at the country club, but more so, you may have heard rumours about his stellar performance during Operation Overlord. I believe the last time you saw him he was preparing for demolitions training. He'll be tagging along to investigate rumours of German armour in the area and take advantage of any opportunity that may present itself. If anyone can do this, Jimmy, it's you. I wish you luck. This your first drop, Patterson, or is your aim always as bad as mine? We better see if anyone else is around. Then we'll get you to town. Hey, Jimbo! You wanna give me a hand? Wait! Wait! Jimmy! Jimmy! Let's go!
Jimmy. It's my job to take out any tanks that come across. You hang with me and provide cover. <laughs> Das ist doch ganz einfach. Now. Zeig dir mal einen Trick. This one's mine. U.S. Hey, don't shoot! Don't shoot! 82nd Airborne Private First Class Jerry Lanto. Mind if I tag Gotta along? Keep moving. I got separated from my squad during a skirmish two miles west of here. Du sollten mir nicht langsam zurück sein? Sei mal nicht so ein Sorgen, Kasper. Genieß mal den schönen Tag. Jimmy, here I go. Klaus? 
The tank's in the way, Jimmy. We better find another way around. Jimmy, cover me while I take out this tank. This one's mine!
from here. Let's go! Jimmy, cover me while I take out this tank. Okay, Jimmy. Unfortunately, this is where we part ways. We got an invitation to hold up with the Dutch resistance contact not too far from here. You're a good man. You'll do fine.
Wacht hier, Michael! Zum Puppy. Ich will mich nicht zu schießen. Guck mal!
sabotage those cars so we can't be followed. Sabotage those cars so we can't be followed. I can't go anywhere until you clear the area of Germans. I don't want them to see my truck. You know how the Gestapo can be. Let's get moving! so we can't be followed.
Let's get moving. That church is really something. Will you look at that? Gorgeous. from the other side. Let's get moving! Hold on! Right, there's not a straight street in Europe, I'll never on that laundry truck? You might be able to find a uniform and blend in at the pub. so we can't be followed.
Let's get moving. I heard a funny story about that statue. Remind me to tell you sometime. Hintern auf den Boden geknallt, dass der Marmor gesprungen ist. <lacht> <lacht> Sie ist mit ihrem fetten Hintern auf den Boden geknallt, dass der Marmor gesprungen ist. Was glotzt du so? Gehen Sie nach Hause. Ich soll um die Zeit nicht draußen sein. Hau ab, du Käsefresser! Hau ab! Ist mit ihrem fetten Hintern auf den Boden geknallt, dass der Marmor gesprungen ist. Was ist mit ihrem fetten Hintern auf den Boden geknallt? Ja, das ist der Marmor gesprungen. Was wir drin sind? Nee.
Weg für die Privatanstalt. Steig ein, deine Klamotten liegen hinten. Personal, hä? Rein da, du kommst aber spät. Aufge 
sind die großen Tischdecken? Im obersten Fach, ist doch klar. Ah, oh, Helene, oh. Zucker! Was wir haben, das muss reichen.
das Gehör? Sturmbahnführer Retter hält immer gute Reden. Ah! Und das
macht die Beste. Meinst du, die Party wird besser als die letzte? Ja, we zijn klaar. Ik denk dat hij net aangekomen is. Hallo, Lieutenant Patterson. I'm glad you made it. You haven't much time. They're transporting the prisoners tonight. Take whatever supplies you need. Good luck. Thank goodness. I was sure I was finished.
Allied infantry always welcome the sight of a Sherman tank. Its combination of speed, firepower and quick repair made it an invaluable ground weapon. The sheer number of Shermans in the field usually allowed Allied generals to count on armored superiority. However, not all the Sherman tank specs were ideal. It was thinly armored and caught fire easily. In addition, its cannon was not large enough to pierce the more heavily armored enemy tanks, a weakness not shared by the German Tiger. Fortunately, evolving teamwork between ground spotters, artillery and the Army Air Force meant no Tiger was impenetrable, thus helping the Shermans rule the day. <laughs>